Welcome to tutorial number 149, the fourth tutorial in the sheet metal series. In this tutorial, we're going to continue talking about the edge flange, the next option, the angle, how to add an angle to your flange. There are two options, selecting the angle directly or choosing a reference face. Start a new part. Here I'm going to select the appearance steel and create simple base flange as we learned. Make a U shape, some relation. midpoint equal and let's add some dimension extrude it with the sheet metal base flange 100 mid plane And there you have the steel sheet metal. And now add an edge flange as we learned in the previous tutorial. Go to edge flange, select the edge, extrude it to approximate height, select the second edge and it will be automatically the same height. And here next you will see the angle option. So this edge flange right now is 90 degrees angle and here you can change it according to requirement. I'm going to add 150 and you will notice the, the shape. Add 120 then OK. Here you will notice how you bend it, the edge flange with an angle. It is not the perfect shape right now. We can deal with these edges in the later options, but now we see the angle. Also, you can make the angle into the side, go to the edit flange, edit feature, and change the angle less than 90 degrees. For example, let's add 75. And as you see here, you bend it. This edit the edge flange again and add 50 because I want to see the intersection error or warning. Click OK. Here you get a warning that there is intersection between the bendings. This issue we can solve it as we learned in the previous tutorial by editing the sketch. Make the edge a little bit thinner or in the later options we will see how to deal with this bending so let's get back and make it 90 degrees so the next option is selecting a face right now we cannot select any face as you notice we need to create a separated part now I will make a wooden core separated part inside this sheet box so that I can bend the next edge flange on it. Select the plane, in this case the right plane, sketch and intersect here to make it easier to see. Normal two. Here I'm going to just make a very simple piece of wood. I'm 
and add with some dimension. Equal relation here and midpoint. I make this shorter than the edge flange. Make it thin. So it is logical to bend it. And let's add here 25. Extrude this shape with the extrude boss, make it mid plane and 30 will be enough. And make sure to uncheck the merge result so it is a separated part. Back to original and let's add some appearance to this score. I'm going to make it from wood. So now we have this sheet box and we have a piece of wood inside and then I want to bend the second edge. So select again sheet metal, edge flange, select the edge and select this face. You can notice you bend the second edge flange parallel to that face. Also if you select the second edge, go to edge, select the second edge. And you see the angle is calculated according to that shape. It can be difficult to put it by yourself. And here if you make it perpendicular to the face you will get it in that shape you can see this edge flange is perpendicular to this edge let's make it a little bit shorter so it will not intersect with the inside and when you are done click ok so this is one way to select a reference face, let's get back again in the edge flange and make it parallel. Click OK. And this is another case. In the later tutorial, we are going to create the same shape where this wooden core is tangent with that edge flange. So we will have some intersection and the later options will show how we can fix that. Now we can again think about other cases. Delete the second edge on the face. You can also select that face over here. For example, you make it par parallel to that face. You can make it perpendicular. It didn't work, but you can make it parallel that face. But this option is not necessary because you can make this click OK because you can make the same by selecting edge flange and make the same. So again, back to that edge flange, select the face over here, okay. So we see many cases by how you can manage the edge flange angle.